I literally just made a video maybe a couple of days ago talking about how NXT stars, some of them haven't been booked correctly in WWE. And um, it's quite interesting that some of the NXT stars that I mentioned were released today from WWE. Hmm. Interesting. What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, you guys have been spamming me. Oh, I wouldn't even call it spamming. You guys are just letting me know. I, I have found out uh, relatively soon. As soon as it was happening, uh, I have found out. But you guys were letting me know that WWE decided to let some more talent talent go, and they let quite a amount, like a quite a few actually, eighteen wrestlers men and women were released today that's a lot of people a lot of good talent a lot of great talent and uh we got to talk about this go through the list and i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation because i think this is just wild what's happening so this is on pw insider the complete list of the 18 wwe talent uh talents released this evening the following talents were uh were released this evening this is on the raw side of things eva marie Grand Metalik, Karrion Cross, Keith Lee, uh, Lynch Dorado, Mia Yim, Nia Jax. On the SmackDown side of things is B Fab. And on the NXT side of things, Emma Moon, Frankie Monet, Katrina Cortez, Oni Lorcan, Jesse uh, Camille, uh, Jeet uh, Rama, uh, Zeta, uh, I don't know how to pronounce her, uh, this person's last name. Zeta, Ramir, Scarlett, and Trey Baxter, not assigned to a brand, Harry Smith. And apparently, this was uh, Brian Alvarez tweeted, you know, uh, these names as well, and put at the end of the tweet, this was due to budget cuts. First names first, man. I don't understand how a company can sit up here and say, Oh, we had to let go of these people because of budget cuts, budget reasons. When it's like, at what point are you going to push new stars and new talent and give them that opportunity to flourish? That's my only thing. For example, Karrion Cross. I made a video talking about how NXT has not been, NXT stars have not been booked correctly. And then you hear reports of them being so really like they're really you know they got a lot of hype for carrying across they're looking forward to him being on the main roster get on the main roster they don't really utilize him correctly he kind of doesn't really go nowhere and then ultimately you let him go Keith Lee same thing granted he got injured but same thing he really never got the momentum and the hype he should have gotten and now you let him go come on now these are main mid-card to main event talents. The future of the company. And this is what y'all doing? And apparently WWE is going with this. If you're if you're under this weight or you you're older this, if you're over this age limit, they're gonna start letting people go. Is that what it is? You're just gonna let people go because of their either their weight or their age? Like what are we doing? Now some of these, I'm a little indifferent i know a lot of people didn't really too much care about nia Jax leaving because a lot of people are not a fan of her work they feel like she's really dangerous in the ring and then uh, the same with eva marie a lot of people were just like kind of indifferent uh i know the carrying cross and the keith lee was a, a shocker to a lot of people mia yim she's engaged to keith lee if i'm not mistaken so they let her go just by association i guess um b fab i want to say I don't know who that person is, um, but I guess where they supposed to debut on SmackDown and then all of a sudden now they're gone. Ember Moon was a real shock to me because I'm like, yo, she is a top tier women's champion. I was so happy when she went to the main roster the first time and then I believe she got injured and then they put her back in NXT and she's a really top tier women's wrestling talent. Top tier main eventer for sure. Gone. Like, bro, I, I don't. Oni Norkin, talented guy, good mid card. I can 
Roll with him as a mid-card act, gone. And some of these people I don't know. And, you know, yeah, you know, I'm sure maybe you guys are more familiar with them on NXT, but this just doesn't make sense to me. I, I'm really trying to figure out why. Why is this happening now? I, I don't I I'm confused on why all these wrestlers are being let go. And we always get the reason budget cuts. I'm like, come on, bro. And then they come out months later talking about, oh, well, this person didn't do this or this person wouldn't fit for this or this person, they couldn't get this. So that's why we let them go. But they start with budget cuts. Y'all notice that? Y'all notice these strings of releases? It always starts with budget cuts. And then we find out later that it was something else personal or some backstage situation, backstage politicking. This is not cool. This sucks. Because at the end of the day, this is their livelihood as well. They, they, they entertain us. They put their lives on the line. And now they're out without, they're without jobs. Now, I know some of these individuals will be able to find work. I don't want all of them to go to AEW. I don't want that to be the thing. If WWE lets you go, we'll put you on AEW. But AEW is still trying to get over the stars that they have. I do see like some of these guys going to AEW. And hopefully they do get used well. I can see some maybe going to Impact. Hopping on the indie scene. You know. So there are other options. You know. It's just one of those things where it's like. I feel like some of these guys really didn't get a fair shake. I didn't get a fair chance. Some of these women too. It may have been injuries or whatever else that caused. You know. Caused the derail of their momentum. But they never really got a chance to really get it back on track. And I feel like that sucks. To me, that's, that's that sucks. It really does. Because at this point, it's like all the matches we've seen of Karrion Cross, all the matches we've seen of Keith Lee, all these potential dream matches, gone. Don't even matter. They let them go. Just like that. I don't get it. I don't. I don't know what the upper management is thinking. I don't know what Vince is thinking. But I do know this to be true. They haven't found that next star. They haven't. They have not found someone that is next to take over when it's time for Reigns, the Roman Reigns, to step down. They haven't. And you could have had that next star here. You could have. But you let him go. I've never seen a company let go so many talented individuals because of budget cuts. I've never seen that. Or because they don't fit the particular mold they want you to be. Like, what are we doing? Come on, bro. Like, this... I, I just... I, I feel for it, man. I feel for it, all these individuals. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Nia Jax and uh, Eva Marie. I don't really too much care for their work like that. And some of these people, I don't know still feel for them because these are human beings that you know saying unfortunately lost their jobs and i don't even know if they were notified like prior to if they knew this was gonna happen i think this is kind of it seems like some spur of the moment hey you're going you're going you're going you're going. like jesus christ yeah this is i don't know what's going on bro i have no idea what they are thinking when it comes to wrestling talent nowadays because now we're going to be in a situation where it's like you can't even build up a new star to defeat Roman Reigns to take the title from him. So what are we going to do? We're probably going to have to have a, another rematch with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Instead of building up new stars for someone to potentially get over. I don't think they get that. They, they rely on the nostalgia. They rely on going back to someone that's a part-timer. They don't want to. It's like they're afraid to literally just let these individuals be themselves, be the characters they portray, portrayed as, and get over. It's like they're afraid to overly script them, derail their push, don't give them some real motivation to really move to the top of the car. Like, like I'm, I'm just, I'm confused. How can you build new stars? If you don't promote the stars you have now. And if you don't promote them, you just let them go. 
and then they seem to do much better in other places. I don't know. I, I literally don't know what to even say. I I know. This is crazy, bro. Comment down below. Let me know. What are y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation of all these talents being recently let go? And just in general, this whole year, there's been a, a plethora of talent just let go. What is y'all thoughts on this? Do are y'all believing the budget cut rumors? Cause I I I think that's BS. They need to stop saying that. They need to just, just keep it a hundred. We decided to let them go because of this, this, this. Not because of damn budget cuts. I don't want to hear that. Y'all been doing budget cuts all goddamn year. Letting it go. Letting grade A talent go. So comment down below. Let me know what y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. This is just insane. But appreciate all love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one.